Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Hakuna Matata or Africa. Last episode, we got ourselves a white rhino that apparently was not close enough. But oh well, whatever. Um, maybe it was too close. Who knows? We've got a couple awesome new jobs today. Withered Fever Tree. Uh, let's do this one first. Job. Intimate portrait of the uncool crowd. People disparage the vulture and marabou stork because they eat animal carcasses. But let's face it, the savannah would be a heap of bodies without them. You wouldn't happen to have any point-blank photos of vultures flocking around a carcass, would you? If you set up a camera by the body, you could probably get one. You are weird. Oh, I don't have a thing. But we can do that. Shoot from 30, 30 feet away. The African elephant photo you took the other day was something else. So dynamic. We need to try and outdo it. Could you shoot a close-up of a lion for our magazine cover photo next month? We're looking for a young male. Scarier that way, you know? A young male. Mm. Clue to the mystery creature's identity. We sent the photo of the tracks you took to a lab for an analysis. The results should be back soon. In the meantime, if some sort of large creature did indeed leave tracks, then it must have to eat to survive. That means it would probably leave a carcass behind. Can you find any evidence of this in its habitat? Send us anything you discover right away. We can do this one. We can actually do all three in the same area. Withered fe Fever Tree. The other day, I dropped in on your research project's headquarters, and they showed me some of your work. One of the photos really caught my eye, the one with the withered tree in it. I would like to know more, so if it's not a bother, could you take another photo picture for me? I want to know the size of the trees, so this time, please include yourself in the pictures. Alright. Let's get to it. An undiscovered beast. Could it really be true? If it does exist, it has to be eating something. But what would be left behind as evidence of its meals? Well, Eric, bones probably. Bones. We'll see what this badass beast eats for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I was gonna say brunch too and got all, all my merds mixed in there. All right, so fever trees are the only ones in Kaboko Swamp, and the rest is in, I believe the rest is in uh, Kuancha Plains. I'm not entirely sure about the carcass, but I think that it's in Kuancha Plains. I keep wanting to see baby zebras, but they're all adults. I haven't yet actually experienced a playthrough where I've seen babies yet. Okay, guys. We will see you shortly. And also a close-up of a young male. We'll do that as well. Whichever one the young male is. I think that's actually a young male right there. So let's do that. We'll get him first. He looks exactly like who we need. Yeah, there he is. Ah, that one would be better, but oh well. Does it have to be a face-on shot? I don't think so. Shows young male lion shot in close proximity. Let's 
So that's a young male. That should be good. All right. Um, let's, uh... We could go... Do a far away shot and try again. I kind of want to. Let's just hope he doesn't move. Alright. I should just name all of these videos that I'm doing close enough for you. One, two, three... And leave it at that. All right, wish me luck, everyone. Where are you? Ah, there you are. But I need to get even closer still. Uh oh. That was close. All right, we'll just uh, not worry about that then. Because I don't feel like going anywhere else. Withered Fever Tree, and let's go find the clues to the. Uh, I, th I can't remember which one it's over. Where's our car? Where do we put our car? I know he ran away far from it. There it is. I'm surprised they never put the this game on the PlayStation Network. I mean, Natsumi has translated it fully. You'd think that they would do that. It's not like this is an illegal purchase or anything. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have never seen lions on top of these copays before. Whoa, that's neat. That is super neat. Huh. That is really cool. <gasps> Baby zebras! I finally found baby zebras! It's not what I'm looking for at the moment, but I finally found them. Alright, where the poop? Here's the skull that I'm looking for. even more stressed than when the moon drops in uh, Majora's Mask. Look at it. Look at how fast it's dropping. Can we find the skull in time? Oh, yeah. By the glow of the sunlight. The sunset. Please just let me find it, though. An African buffalo bones. All right, yay, let's end the mission. All right. Oh, we got more. Um, let's send this one. Let's also send uh, this one. 
I don't think it matters which one. Hopefully that'll be good enough for them. Alright, a close A. I'll take it. Because I don't care about any more lion close-ups. Uh, one more photo for the field guide. Thanks for that photo of the white rhino the other day. I hate to bother you again. Could you go ahead and get us a black rhino shot too? Your white rhino shot was such a high quality that we ne need something equally good to put next to it. Just like last time, we're looking for a shot of its face from the front. Um, do I have one? Can I use one? Oh no, not quite close enough. All right. Whoa! Emails. Notice of round three of the photo contest. Attention all photo lovers, it's time once again for our nature and wildlife photography contest. Our thrilling third theme is reptiles. There are a variety of reptiles out there, so you, if you can find a photo of one that makes you cry out, leaping lizards, send it today. That is an Annie reference. All right, we can totally just send one of these. I think that's the only one we have. Let's, uh, sh fever trees, black rhino. Oh, I know what I want to do. And it'll be good because then we don't have to worry about. I want to email a photo. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's the other one. Okay, we'll do that first. We'll just send a zebra baby but. is the fever tree or not fever tree the um, vultures and then the fever tree then the black rhino oh sorry everyone crashing the party I can stand over here if they'll notice me. What was that? Ah, oh, it's a stork. I cannot get a good view of the carcass. Oh, there we go. Alright, so this is a test. If he doesn't move, we know we're good. Yummy, yummy carcass berry. Yum, yum, yum. I need a... Ooh, there, perfect. Here comes another one. Yummy, yummy. Oh, and a fourth one. Ooh, two at the... That's pretty cool. 
Alright, that should be good. Sorry, guys. My apologies. Alright, and now... On to the fever trees. There's a lot of trap cam today, actually. What was the last one again? Oh yeah, black rhino face. All right, so these are the fever trees. We just need to figure out where to set up a trap cam, I guess, to get a picture with them. Oh, I legit cannot find this thing. Where in the pooping name? Oopsies. Where is this? Where are you, trap cam? I still cannot find this stupid damn tree thing. And I'm thinking maybe it's glitched or something like that. Worst comes to worst, I'm coming back tomorrow and doing this because, like, I do not see a trap cam anywhere for this. And I have been around this area for like 20 stupid minutes now. And I'm putting this in my YouTube because I am pissed, man. This, I love this game to death. But when you can't find a trap cam area, that is just obnoxious waste of real world time. All right, screw it. We are, we are ending Safari. We're coming back tomorrow and trying. Dang it. <sighs> All right, let's grab this one. I didn't even look at these guys. Sounds good. Eh, who cares? I could have got probably got a bit closer, but whatever. All right. Uh, let's check the email. All right. Ooh. Fountain lit by the morning sun. Intergenerational battle between lions. Robin, this next job is a big one. Here at National Geographic, we're producing a documentary starring lions. I was hoping you could get us a publicity still we could use. The story is about a young male lion challenging an older one. Can you get us something along those lines? I know you'll come back with something spectacular. Yeah, we can accept that. Fountain lit by the morning sun. Isn't there a small spring called Dicky Dicky Fountain? It must be quite a sight. Funny I should mention that, haha, <laughs> because I need a beautiful waterside shot of the morning glow reflected on the surface for my latest job. Mind if I ask you to do it? The client wants a shot before the sun is all the way up while the atmosphere still feels serene. Yeah, we can do that. But we won't do that with this one, we will. A photo of dueling male lions. Well, didn't we see the, a solitary male lion on Kawandra Plain? That lion may challenge the status of a male lion belonging to a pride. Let's start by going to Kawandra Plain. That'll be last mission for this one year. Nice one to end off on. Snap du lions dueling in a death duel. Well, it's not quite a death duel, luckily. Come on, lions! Cutscene! Blue! That male lion is fixated on something. Whoa, a young male lion is approaching. 
This could be a real sight to see. We've got to catch this on camera. Snap a lion duel, big game number 19. stay down. What an incredible sight. They're like clashing kings of the jungle. Do you think that young lion will ever become a leader of the pride? And uh, let's see what else. What were our missions? I know I wanted to end this. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. We will end the safari here and I will see you lovelies next time but not before I submit this photo. Uh, intergenerational battle between lions. I don't actually mind that best shot for once. Awesome. Okay, my lovelies, we will see you next time for more Africa and Hakuna Matata. It's getting close to the end. I think there's about 120 missions, and we just submitted 104, so definitely getting up there. All right, guys, give it a like, give it a comment. I would love to hear from you, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.